Irrigation is a topic that can also often become very confusing for homeowners. I'm going to talk about two basic approaches. The most common that we always hear about is what I call a deep infrequent approach. And what I mean by this is you come out every weekend, you turn on the sprinklers for maybe an hour and really wet down that turf grass stem. Often, in many cases, the water is going past the root zone of the turf, so it probably isn't even using all of it. Another approach, which we've done some research on at MSU, I'm going to call the light frequent irrigation schedule. This approach is primarily looking at can you actually apply irrigation on a daily basis and get good results? And the answers that we've come up with are yes. It produces very high quality turf. Now keep in mind that in drought years, depending on where you're living, there may be local ordinances that prevent you from watering daily. So what I like to suggest to people is consider many factors when figuring out how you're going to irrigate your lawn. Think about the soil you have. Do you have a very sandy soil or do you have more of a heavy clay soil that's really going to retain the water you apply? Is your lawn in the sun or is it in the shade? Lawns in the sun certainly are going to need much more water than those in a deep shade environment. And finally, just think about the turf grass you actually have. Do you have Kentucky bluegrass, which will probably need more water to stay green throughout the summer? Do you have something like tall fescue, which you can probably irrigate a little more sparingly? So consider all those factors and keep out of the mindset that you just go out once a week and water. Maybe you go out every other day, every third day and irrigate. The final point I'd like to talk about is just timing. The worst time to irrigate your lawn is going to be in the early evening hours because that lawn could potentially stay moist until the next morning, maybe 9, 10 o'clock, and that leads to potential problems with diseases, and that can hurt your lawn quality, obviously. So if you can, water the early morning hours because it reduces the time that that lawn is going to be wet, or even sometimes an irrigation in the, middle, in the early afternoon when it's really hot will help it cool off and prevent you from losing any turf. Final point I'd like to make, there's many homeowners that choose not to irrigate at all. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that strategy. Expect in a tough summer when it's dry and it's hot, your lawn will most likely turn brown, go dormant. As long as you don't go maybe more than a month without any rainfall, you should be fine. If it gets to be about a month, give it what I call a mercy irrigation. Go out there, give it maybe a half inch. The idea is not to green that lawn back up, to just keep it alive until the next rainfall comes. So hopefully those irrigation tips will set you straight and help you produce a healthy lawn.